This morning's drive on I-475 near Maumee was rough. Take a look at this carnage, all caused by a semi-fire, which closed lanes and clogged traffic for more than six hours. But things are now back to normal tonight. Maya May explains what happened and why ODOT says it could have been worse. If you were traveling on I-75 near US-24 today, your commute was more than likely delayed. The two-lane highway went down to one lane when an Amazon truck hit a wall and caught fire just before 6 a.m. An ODOT spokesperson says no construction workers were hurt since the crash happened before work begins. We're also told a piece of technology in the construction zone may have helped the driver. So the crash attenuator was hit, did absorb some of that shock, if you will, for the vehicle. And then it also hit two segments of barrier wall and those two segments of barrier wall needed to be replaced along with the crash attenuator. The ODOT spokesperson says there were also delays due to environmental concerns. Um, there were some delays. There was a fuel spill that was uh, associated with the vehicle. And so we had to get the Ohio EPA consultation out on site and um, make sure that we clean up all the fuel spill that did occur. Now ODA is stressing the importance of following speed limits within construction zones. In all construction zones, it's very important to abide by the speed limit. Um, I don't know that speed was any type of a factor in this particular crash, but within the construction zone, us all maintaining our speeds and abiding by the posted speed limit helps us make sure that we get through the construction zone safely and helps prohibit or helps us uh, not experience any of those future crash delays in the future. The driver of the Amazon semi truck was taken to the hospital, and we do not know his condition at this time. In Toledo, Maya May for WTOL 11.